Here's a model of fracture. We'll set it going. You can see uh, we've clamped two ends of a piece of material and we're squeezing the clamp together, clamps together to break the material. I've weakened one section. I provided a defect here that's shown in red on the left hand side. And you'll see the material break there and then we'll see some secondary failures as well. A cascade of breaks. All right, that's it. Let's back up to just before the break and show it a hundred times slower speed. Uh, all right, you see the material start to swing outwards because it's no longer clamped and straighten at the speed of sound. So the material is straightening out at the speed of sound following a uh, sort of shock wave from the first fracture event. And that leads to two subsequent failures, basically because the material can't, can't uh, swing out fast enough, at the, uh, can't swing out uh, in a wide arc like a seesaw at the speed of sound, which it would have to do to keep the bend radius at the wave front uh, uh, large enough. Thanks for watching.